Since as early as the 12th century, the green pastures of Gruyere have produced high-quality milk and the cheese now known as Gruyere AOP. As a way of conserving their cows' precious milk and to see them through the winter, local families invest in the mountain pastures and begin trading their Gruyere cheese. From the 16th century onwards, it exports as well. The people of Gruyere are proud of their skills. With the passing of time and fluctuations in the economy, some cheesemakers set themselves up elsewhere in French-speaking Switzerland, extending the production zone. Today, Gruyere is certified by a protected designation of origin, in French, an Appellation d'Origine Protégée, or AOP. Each milk producer, cheesemaker and affineur in the Gruyere AOP Association follows strict production standards. Gruyere's firm texture, personality and unmistakable flavour create a unique artisanal and natural product. It all starts in the pastures. Each cow consumes approximately 100 kilos of grass a day. To ensure that the cows receive a high-quality diet, the farmers have to follow strict guidelines when grazing their animals and producing hay. No silage or additives are permitted. The nutritional quality and variety of the pastures are what makes the AOP zone really special and allow it to produce some of the best milk in the world. The flavour of Gruyere AOP changes in relation to their different floral species eaten by the cows. From the Freiburg Prealps to the Jurassian Plateau, passing through the hilly areas of the Jura, Blan and the Vallée des Jour, each region has its own characteristics in relation to its altitude and climate. Cow's milk is indispensable to the making of Gruyere. While manufacturing techniques have been modernised over the years, Gruyere AOP remains a traditional product and its production reproduces rituals that are hundreds of years old. Milk is delivered to the cheese dairy twice a day. At dawn, that morning's milk is added to the copper vats containing milk from the previous evening. Once quality tested, it is partially skimmed. The milk is then gently heated. At 32 degrees Celsius, the cheesemaker adds starter cultures exclusive to the Gruyere AOP which he has selected himself. Then he adds the rennet. This entirely natural ingredient is extracted from calf's stomach lining. It transforms the milk from a liquid into a creamy curd. The last three or four minutes of the process are crucial in determining the final quality of the Gruyere AOP. At this point, the skills of the cheesemaker really come into play. His trained eye gauges the exact moment when the curd should be cut as soon as he believes the mixture has the required consistency, he starts up the cheese hops, which cut the curd mass until it resembles small grains. Once this step is completed, the grains and the whey, recognizable by its yellow color, are progressively heated to 57 degrees Celsius. Throughout this delicate operation, the cheesemaker carefully watches over the grains. Towards the end of the heating period, he tests their texture and elasticity to decide exactly when to remove the cheese. Once the vat is emptied, the grains are transferred to round moulds to shape the cheese. Before the curd is pressed, every cheese is marked so that it can later be identified. The cheesemaker makes an inscription on each cheese wheel using casein, a protein naturally found in milk. They are then pressed for at least 16 hours and regularly turned. The following day, at dawn, the wheels are turned out of their moulds. Still soft and fragile, they are first immersed in a brine bath for 24 hours. The salt seeps into the still supple cheese, which will then slowly develop in flavour over the following months. Gruyere AOP takes on the bulk of its character in the maturing cellar. 
The wheels are regularly turned and brushed with salt water to ensure that as they mature, they remain sufficiently humid and also develop a rind called morge. This painstaking work, carried out by hand for centuries, is now mostly done by a robot. This machine reproduces the traditional movements and gestures used to brush and salt each wheel. Yet this invaluable aid does not replace the knowledge and experience of the cheesemaker, who regularly checks on the cheese throughout its maturation. After three months of care, responsibility for the Gruyere AOP cheeses is passed on to an affineur. At the weigh-in, the affineur appoints an expert to check the wheels. For the cheesemaker, it's the moment of truth. Cheeses which do not meet the quality criteria are rejected and will not obtain the Gruyere AOP label. The care started in the cellars continues at the maturation facility. On arrival, the cheeses are identified and organized according to the month they were produced. Their development is assured by the cellar's ideal climate, a temperature of about 15 degrees Celsius and a constant humidity level of over 90%, as well as a constant renewal of the air. At least once a week, the wheels are turned and brushed with salt water. The wheels rest in the cellar on spruce wood shelves. Once they are five months old, the cheeses are officially taxed by the supervising organization, the interprofession du Gruyere. Using a small hammer and probe, two experts examine the wheels. They tap the cheese and listen to the resonance to detect any imperfections in the body of the wheel. It is then scored according to precise criteria. Its taste and aroma, the quality and texture of the cheese, how well it has been preserved, the absence of holes and the outward appearance of the wheel. The experts also take a sample for analysis and quality control. At the end of this process, each lot is given a score which will determine the class in which it will be marketed and above all, if it has the right to bear the Gruyere AOP name. According to the individual characteristics of the wheels, the affineurs decide how long each wheel remains in the maturing cellar. Five months, eight months, 10 months, 12 months or more gives Gruyere AOP a taste that is more or less full flavored or fruity. Once fully matured, the wheels are sold as full wheels to be cut to order or pre-packaged for retail. A proportion of the production is used as grated cheese for one of the most famous Swiss dishes, fondue. Produced year-round in cheese dairies with the Appalachian area, the making of Gruyere AOP is an age-old tradition. For centuries, herds of dairy cattle and farmers have made their way up to alpine pastures for the summer. Gruyere d'Alpage AOP is made in their chalets, where the vat or cauldron is still heated using firewood. Once the days become cooler, it is time for the herds to rejoin the valleys and the plains. Known as the Desalp, this traditional celebration bears witness to the people's attachment to their roots. Although Gruyere AOP's production has benefited from the technological advances of recent years, this cheese par excellence remains the result of a tradition and the knowledge and skills of farmers, cheesemakers and affineurs. Proud of their region, they have passionately performed the same rituals for centuries. The resulting Gruyere AOP is a unique natural product with an incomparable taste.